watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a gift that I received from my good friend Ray over at North Star Knife Reviews. Now if you haven't already checked out Ray's channel and you're not subscribed, please go and do so. Fantastic channel. He has a lot of similar knives to me so if you enjoy my channel you should likely enjoy his as well. Does a lot of shorter reviews. He also does shorts. He, he's a big fan of old-timers and Swiss Army knives, much like myself. And he also handcrafts wood handles for blanks to make Puko-style knives. So just want to give him a massive thank you for sending me this knife. Not long ago, I sent him an old-timer that I thought he would really appreciate. And he sent me this brother as a thank you. So thank you again, Ray. And now we're going to take a look at the knife. Okay, so what we've got here today is a Brother 1506 in bone. Comes in this box here, very plain, just a simple cardboard box. Brother, a company owned by Watchman. You might be more familiar with Watchman. Watchman makes Brother knives. Their slogan, One Knife, One Life, comes in this uh, kind of pretty basic cardboard box, but it has a little funny Chinese to English translation here that kind of makes me chuckle. It says, Packing Make with Recycled Materials. It says made in China there, obviously. And on the side here is the model number with a barcode. Ming Hong Tools and Hardware Company Limited, made in China. So yeah, all Chinese company. But they do a really great job of producing some fantastic looking knives. These all come in a little canvas bag, so a nice little extra there. And then inside the bag you have some plastic with the oil all up in there. It keeps it well lubricated. So we're going to look at this knife that Ray sent me here. This is a swayback design that's also a lockback so i'm going to call that a swayback lockback three and a half inches closed we've got bone handles stainless steel bolsters two t6 uh, screws holding the bone handles on and the nice little cutout for the lock release and you can see that this has got a really nice fit and finish to it uh, it's all smooth along those springs along with those stainless liners and the stainless steel locking mechanism but a uh, good fit and finish on it very well centered blade and we can see that and it's very smooth action on the open and close easy to manipulate the lock the jigging you can see is pretty consistent in shape it just alters itself in size as it goes down the uh, length of the knife or length of the handle there pretty consistent on both sides now I will say when I first got this knife I was a little bit uh, unimpressed with the color of it I thought like it was way lighter than it should have been I looked at some pictures on Amazon and I had seen this knife before Ray had sent it to me so I was somewhat familiar with it and uh, you know because I'd been looking at other brother knives but it just seemed a little light so I'll show you some before and after photos of what I'd, I've done with the handle I've actually dyed these slightly uh, to give them more uh, color and the pictures will show it's not a dramatic change but enough of one I think improved the look of the knife it makes it a little darker gives it a little more of an amber color but I've just taken some writ dye uh, it was orange red and purple and kind of mixed it together for a, a lightly sort of a auburn or amber color dye and uh, I think it did a pretty decent job kind of making it look like what the Amazon photos show. So I basically just tried to make it look like what I expected to get, would have, would have expected to get had I ordered it myself. But uh, yeah, so just a minor little alteration there. Really the only thing wrong with a knife in my opinion. Every other thing, everything else with this knife is just stellar. Uh, the fit and finish is very good. No gapping or anything like that along the springs. You've got good centering and great blade action. Easy to close. So all the fit and finish there works really well. So let's take a look at the blade. We've got a Warncliffe blade. And it measures two and a half. Make that two and three quarter inches total length to the tang. And then two and a quarter inches let's call it the cutting edge but beautiful worn clip blade on this got a wonderful edge grind on it very consistent very even and you can see the blade etch there with the logo 
and their slogan, One Life, or sorry, One Knife, One Life. And then it gives you the blade type, which is, or excuse me, the blade steel, which is 8CR14 MOV. So a pretty decent little blade steel on a knife. I think this is uh, $23, I want to say, $22, $23 on Amazon. And that's the only place I know where you can get them. So pretty much limited to Amazon if you want this one. There's a look at the other side. Very consistent blade edge on both sides. Very happy with the grind on this knife. They've done a really good job. Super razor sharp. Beautiful point on that. Just a lovely Warren Cliff blade. Really, really like the look of that particular Warren Cliff blade. There's a look at your nail neck there. You've just got a flat grind. You can see it's sort of a satin finish. Really polished satin finish. Not quite mirror finish or anything, but it's a little brighter than you might otherwise see on a satin finish and then on this side you've got the model number on the tang there etched in it's the 1506 so yeah the, the model 1506 the swayback design but yeah just really really cool size and shape one that I often carry and you know I'm a fan of lockbacks I often carry the uh, 50th Bruin one of my mainstays and it's the lock back as well and it's similar size too so if we look at uh, what slip I might use I would say it would fit just in that medium slip much like my 5OTH does so I can see myself carrying this quite a bit and I just really like this particular size and style of knife I just kind of find myself using lockbacks uh, quite a bit lately so just in one of those phases, I know how everybody kind of goes through phases where they they kind of lean toward one type of knife for a while, and then they kind of switch it up, but uh, kind of in a lockback phase right now. So this is very much in my wheelhouse for uh, an EDC knife. But uh, overall length, let's take a look at that. Pretty manageable knife. One, two, three, four, five, six and a quarter inches total length. Very lightweight. Not at all. A difficult carry fits well in that uh, slip so you could definitely tuck that in your pocket alone itself eh, but if I didn't want to bang up the handles I probably would try to protect it a little bit against my keys and things so yeah very very wonderful knife I really really enjoy all the brother knives that I have and this is no different so really no surprise that uh, that it is as good as it is because brother has just put out you know some really fantastic stuff and I've been happy with every knife that I bought from them and this can be said about this gift as well so thank you Ray for seeing this along but that's gonna do it for my review guys I hope you enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop we'll see you next time take care